Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Now, today I'm gonna to show you how you can create some reframe video using the GoPro FX Reframe plugin in Premiere Pro. Now, this is gonna be one of a few videos I'm gonna to create to show you how you can reframe your videos using different programs. So, this is gonna be Premiere Pro, which I know not everyone has. The GoPro FX Reframe is free, but the obviously Premiere Pro isn't. I am gonna do some videos using different apps to show you how you can reframe using apps, and they are all free. So if you don't have Premiere Pro, don't worry, I will show you a free option in another video of how to do some reframing. But this is just gonna be a very quick video, a very basic guide of how to reframe. I know there are other videos out there, but I think sometimes they get a bit too complicated. I'm just gonna show you very in very simple terms how to do this, how to make this effect, and how to reframe 360 video into normal video. Now basically I'm gonna show you how you can turn your video from something like this, which is an equi rectangular video, this is 360 video, what you would view on a VR headset, how you can turn that into something like this, which is a reframed video, basically zoomed in and controlled motions using keyframes to create linear normal video, something that you'd see on Instagram or Facebook or any other kind of YouTube channel or something. Basically this video is a linear video, so create a normal video from your 360 video. Now let's start by looking at the Premiere Pro way of doing this using the free GoPro FX Reframe plugin. All you've got to do is drag one of your 360 videos into the timeline. As you can see here, this is what I've done. This is in Iceland, a little video I took near a very cool waterfall. As you can see, it's a 360 video. Uh, all you need to do is go to the effects panel once you've installed the plugin and go down to GoPro FX. You'll see the option there and you'll then see the only option which you need to drag on top of your video. Once you've done that, you'll see some options appear. You'll see the GoPro FX Reframe plugin and the options to pan, tilt, rotate, lens curve, and zoom. Now, all of these allow the camera to move in a specific location at a specific time. Basically, all we're gonna do is go through the timeline, select a new position for the camera, and then let the app work out where the camera's gonna be. It's really simple, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, select your starting position, which is where you want the camera to be at the very first moment of the video. Then activate all of those features, the pan, tilt, rotate, lens curve, and zoom. Click toggle animation for every single one. Now you can adjust the camera by dragging on the image itself. As you can see, there are four grids at the side and at the top and bottom of the image. If you drag them along, it will either zoom in or out. Now I'm gonna work out where I want the camera to be at the next moment where I'm gonna select some more keyframes. So I'm just gonna go along the timeline, probably something 10 or 15 seconds later, and then I'm gonna move the camera to point at this waterfall, as you can see here. Now I want the camera to be pointing somewhere else at a dip, like roughly 10 seconds later. So let's zoom into that waterfall a little bit. Now we can see what that looks like when I play back the keyframes. Now, as you can see, the app just basically moves along the 360 video as if it was actually a moving camera. Now, the camera in reality was not moving. It's a completely still camera. Basically, we're just zooming into the 360 video and creating a normal video from that. but it looks super smooth, it looks super cinematic, so it looks really cool. So what we're gonna do now is just go along the timeline and continue to do that. So just drag the image, literally just drag on the screen where you want the camera to be at any one moment, and then we'll just add, keep adding keyframes. Now I'm being very basic here with the keyframes I'm adding. I'm just copying and pasting sometimes if you want the camera to remain still, and just make sure you select all the options at the same time, otherwise you might get some weird effects. So I always select everything from Pan, tilt, rotate, lens, and zoom. I always select all of them. Now, if you find that the camera is moving too slowly, then just simply make the keyframes closer together. If you find the camera's moving too quickly, then simply separate the keyframes further apart. Also, a very neat trick that I found is if you want a kind of very swooping motion, which works really well with this kind of video, kind of like a transition from one scene to another, you can create some very, very close together keyframes and the camera will kind of zoom through the image. I think it's a good way of transitioning between two different scenes and I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. So once you've finished adding all of your keyframes to your first video, basically now add another video next to it, another 360 video, apply the same effect. So go in and put the GoPro FX Reframe plugin onto your next video. 
Now, in your first video, or you've got to make sure that the keyframe, the last keyframe is right at the end of the video. As you can see, I've put two very closely together here, and I'm gonna make it so that the camera zooms out really quickly and then zooms in to the next video really quickly. And you'll see what it looks like. I may not be describing it that well, but you're about to see what it looks like. I think it works really, really well. So in the first video with all the ice in the waterfall, I've just put two keyframes very close together, made them zoom, made the camera zoom out very quickly. And in the next night scene, I've right at the start, put one keyframe zooming out and then one keyframe zooming in very close together. So we get this effect that zooms out and in, to the, in between the two scenes, which I think works very nicely. Now basically what I'm gonna do is do this a few more times. I'm just gonna really quickly add some more keyframes to this video, add some more 360 videos or more reframed videos using this zooming effect that I just showed you, and then we can see the final result at the end. But basically guys, it's really simple. All you've gotta do is add these keyframes, drag the image around, and just choose where you want the camera to be pointing at any one moment. Now I'm being very basic here, I'm literally just panning around. Um, you can create some much more advanced effects. This is just a very easy tutorial of how to do this. I didn't want to be too complicated because most of the effects that you can achieve are a little bit gimmicky. I just want to show you how you can create some normal video with your 360 video so you don't have to just shoot for a VR headset. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm just going along each video, adding keyframes, moving the camera along, selecting where I want it to look, and then right at the end of the videos, I'm doing a very quick, uh, close together keyframes to zoom in and out or zoom side to side, and then make it link up with the next video. So once you have reframed all the videos you want to reframe, you could just do one, you don't have to add multiple. Basically now you just need to export your footage like you normally would, but when you do, make sure that when you go to the export settings that uh, the VR is unticked, video for VR, because you do not want this to be a VR video. The whole point is to change it from a VR video into a normal one. So that's it, that's all you need to do. It doesn't need to be super complicated, you don't need to use all these fancy effects. So I just basically want to show you how you can achieve this very easily. Now this is what I created literally in 10 minutes using this method. Now I think this kind of video is great for travel vlogs, it's great for B-roll, it's great for vlogging. You can make sure that the camera is always pointing at you at any one moment and it will always be super stabilized, super smooth because that is the beauty of shooting 360 video. It's always super, super stable. Now that's it guys. Like I said, I'm going to be doing some more videos on this subject in the next few weeks. I'll show you how to reframe very easily, very quickly using some of the apps available, which are free. So don't worry if you don't have Premiere Pro, there will be more videos coming for you. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will get back to you. But until next time, I'll see you around. Bye.